Welcome back to Ride and Glide! Hello, people of the internet. As you'll probably see, we are reviewing something very different today. Mm, more wheels than normal. It's called the MIA 4, or the MIA 4. stands for if you can make it here you can make it anywhere four because i'm guessing that's the number of wheels it's got that would make sense it does okay so obviously this looks like an a something very different to a normal two-wheeled scooter although it is billed as a scooter the reason the company have made it is to mm. say this can get you around through cities jungles deserts no it's made as an urban vehicle with the capabilities of off-road it looks like a quad bike as in it's got four wheels but it has no seat interestingly that's where the similarities stop well, no, Toby, that's not where the similarities stop. Nearly where the similarities stop. Because there are attachments you can buy for the Mia 4, like a seat. Yeah, I've seen and that. And when it's restricted to 12 miles per hour, or is it 12 kilometers per hour, one or the other, it apparently is classified as a mobility scooter. Yeah. So therefore, potentially, you could ride this beast down the road and collect your shopping from Morrison's or any other <laughs> establishment. Other food establishments are available. Yes, or the drive through McDonald's. Oh, that would be well good. Yeah. But we don't know that for sure, so do your own research. But yeah, apparently you can across Europe. Nice. Anyway, let's get on. Okay, so we're gonna look at all the components, are we? We are, we're gonna break it down. So, Toby, what I want to, uh, Toby, mm. that's me. Please can you stand on the scooter because I wanna show you exactly. Is that what we're calling it? Are we calling it a scooter? What do you wanna call it? I don't know. The I quad. Feel, I feel like it needs a new thing, a new. Well, it's not a scooter, is it? No, but it's not a quad bike. No, it's a quad scooter. It's a quooter. A quooter. <laughs> we're gonna call it the quooter. Stand on the quooter. Okay. That sounds like a oh, name oh. that a woman would call her private parts when she was trying to be. <laughs> You know, subtle. Lady garden. My cooter. <laughs> My cooter. <laughs> what you can see, so hold, hold on toes. What, okay, sorry, what, sorry, what, sorry, sorry. Spoiler. What you can see there, first of all, is how much the scooter can lean over without turning over, basically. I want to show you, and we're gonna look in a bit more detail down here, of why this is so special and so much fun to ride. So, Toby, can you lean to one side, please? Give it a bit of lean. There we go. So as you can see from the design, the, um, these cast aluminium brackets all pivot. There's a bump stop here, and there's a bump stop here. So then when he turns the other way, this away, and leans this way, this bump stop here stops it from traveling any further. This makes it super secure when you're turning round corners, but not actually falling off the cooter or Mia 4. So a really clever design. Because you can turn and tilt. And tilt at the same time. Tilt and that's, turn. That's really, really clever. Now Toby's given you uh, an idea of how they move. Let's see them in action. We've made it out and we're about to test the Mia 4 off-road. Right, I've bought two left gloves. Hopefully this isn't a sign of things to come. Let me just pop this on because we're going to need it today. I'm ready. I hope you're ready. Let's roll. Oh yeah! Woo! Right, off we go. This thing, it feels like you can go anywhere. It's actually not so comfortable on the hard ground. It's gonna be better off-road. You can tell already, we've got those big off-road tires. But let's see if we can actually, look at that. You just go up the side. Like I said, it's like a quad bike. Look, just rock it around. Jump off. Easy peasy. You can't do that on many scooters, can you? <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Right, let's see how it handles the hill. See if we've got any power. Feels a little bit nippy already. Feels like the front wheel wants to come up. Ready? We're coming up to the 200 meter hill climb. It's only got 2,000 watts of nominal power, remember? Okay, ready? Let's go up this bumpy old hill. Oh, it's quite quick. Bit rattly, what's that? Nice, nice, I'm flat out. Flat out on the accelerator in the top mode. 15 mile an hour up the hill, not too bad. Left Vanderville behind us. Off we go. So we're just heading out into the fields. We've obviously just gone over the hard ground. Handled that very well, but you can feel it's got those off-road tires on. So now we're gonna try and test it a bit more on these very lumpy, bumpy fields. These aren't smooth, 
cricket surfaces. These are animal trodden. They, they're pretty dry. We've had some good weather, but it did rain a lot yesterday. These mud guards are rattling. But other than that, it's seriously enjoyable. Let's swing round. Oh, this is a bumpy field. You feel it, but it's taking it all. <laughs> Straight into the cornfields. No, vineyards. Look at these bumps. Also down at the front of the Mir 4, you'll see we have these coil shocks, oil dampened coil, sh coil shocks. Not adjustable, I mean you can preset them, but there isn't a... There isn't rebound adjustment on them, so they're set as they are. Okay. But they look a decent quality, they're large. Now Toby, what I want you to do yep. is just jump up and down and see if we can see this spring flex here. Jump up, jump up and get down. That's right. A bit more, we need more weight. Can you see that? Hopefully there you can see that absorbing. So what's that's doing? That's working independently of the leaning angle. So yep. you can still use a suspension even when it's lent. The tires can still turn oh, there you whilst go. the suspension yeah, still flexes. Incredible, isn't it. it? Now, let's take a look at that in yeah. action. Check this suspension out. Look at these. Concrete flints. Look how it just rolls over. I'll come back round, I'll come back round. Look, look how it lean. Ridiculous. So manoeuvrable. Now watch this. I'll go over the biggest one I can see, which is here. Doosh. Just rolls over it and moves. Those axles moving independent. So good. One more run from the front. Oh, that got a bit stuck, but still made it. Oh, look at that. I'm going so slowly. Half a mile an hour through there, and it still makes it. And then you hit the brakes, and you can just skid it out. Brilliant fun. You could almost push it too hard on this. It gives you that much confidence. You could get in all sorts of bother. Jolly good. Jolly good. Held up pretty well. Held up very well, I'd say. Let's get down and dirty. Yep. At the rear. The rear of the Kuta, you will find the power. We have dual motors on here. 1,000 watts of nominal power per wheel. What Mia have said is that actually they are making some models with all four motors, all four wheel drive. Four wheel drive, all wheel drive. All four, but we haven't tested one out yet and we haven't seen one. I'm not sure there's a production one out yet. But at the moment we have these dual thousand watts. Mm -hmm. That is going to give us top speeds of around 28 to 30 mile an hour, we hope, which is very fast. That's gonna feel fast. Uh, for a quarter of this size. <laughs> and uh, yeah, obviously brushless motors, very, very quiet. You're not gonna be kicking off much noise. They're gonna be getting speeds of around up to sort of 28 to 30 miles an hour, Toby. Yep. Which is faster than you can one wheel. So we may even have to use the drone to film them. Okay. Let's see how it goes. About 27 mile an hour, flat out. 27 mile an hour, flat out, 38. So that was impressive. Yeah, very impressive. What else do you notice, Toby, that's different about this scooter compared to a normal scooter? Uh, are we gonna talk about the big old knobbly bobbly tires? We are. They're chunky. 15 inches. They thick. Yeah, 15. So on normal scooters, they range from about eight inch to 12 11, inch, 12, 11 really. Rarely 12. You're looking okay. at four 15 inch tires here. Again, giving it that more quad bike feel mm. um, in, Quota form. They are all terrain, these tyres, but you can buy them in slicks as well. They're going to be giving different options there. Okay. And what they do allow is an additional level of comfort and grip when riding on harsher terrains with the off roads and also obviously on the harder ground when riding with the slick. But let's take a look at them in action yep. to see how they grip to the terrain that we're riding on. Is that all right? Sounds good to me. Let's go. Into the vineyard. Let's hack it through here. Perfect for a farmer this would be. Going to check on all your vines, your vino. Oh wow, it's so bumpy. Someone needs to get a roller on these fields. But it is lucky you've got an all-terrain vehicle. I wonder if it can fit down one of the gaps. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Let's roll. See if you can keep up, Tobes. Doing a slight uphill here. Ground is so rough, but these wheels and this suspension He's hammering it. We're at 26 mile an hour. Oh my lord. <laughs> Very enjoyable indeed. For everyone involved. Can you once again jump on the deck for me, please? Yep. 
So comparatively to a normal scooter, a normal yeah. scooter, how are you feeling up there? You've got ample room, ample. loads of room, and I've got fairly big old boats. Yeah. yeah, so you've got a number of places you can put your feet. Yeah. Obviously, you can't put them behind you on this like you can on some scooters that have the heel support because you have the wishbone arms there, don't you? That's where they're mounted, yeah. Yes, and that's also where you can either mount the trailer or mount the seat, depending on what you're going to do. So underneath your feet there is the battery. Now this is an LG battery, 20 amp. You can buy, 20 amp hour, I should say. You can buy a 35 amp version as well. 35 okay. amp hour version. Which is gonna give you tons of range. This is supposedly gonna get you up to about 30 miles, depending on what terrain you're riding, how heavy you are, etc., etc. The usual caveats. The usual caveats. The 35 is obviously gonna give you another, what, 75% again, probably. Yeah. Or possibly 50% again. Um, so those are the two options that you'll be able to buy. We're gonna test it out, see how many miles we can clock. So we've been playing for about an hour. Really, we have been going over some really rough, steep terrain. Battery's down to, saying 40% now. So we're not gonna push it too much further because I don't wanna die out here with this. It's not as light as a little scooter. But we've had a lot of fun on it. Uh, range actually covered, let's have a look. Done about eight miles and it's killed about 60% of the battery, but it's incredibly hard going. What an eight you miles. Yeah, what an eight miles it was. If you were riding this on flat ground, that would have, I would have tripled at least, I would say, at least. Because we've been going up quite steep hills, it's in thick terrain. We've been trying to accelerate full speed the whole way. Like we've really thrashed the battery, it's still got 40% left. But it's fantastic. Look at it, the way that it climbs over this horrendous ground. One really nice feature about this, Tobes, yeah. is oh. the key. So People you can unlock this. the deck, if you know what you're doing, which yeah. I don't. It's like a USB, always going the wrong way. Unlock the deck, there you go. take this off, unplug the battery, and take that out. Handy carry handle. Well, that is also how you charge it. So you can either charge it here, and you can just pop up the charge port, which is down there. You get a, I don't know what charger you get with that, actually. A charger? You get a charger with it. Um, so obviously, we need to know how many amps the charger is. Is it on my sheet? It's like we were prepared. Head. Uh, it is three amps. Is uh, output correct? four amps. Sorry, that's the input. Sorry, output sixty-seven point yeah. two volts. So it comes with a semi-fast charger. So four amp charger. Semi-fast. Well, a fast charger fast probably ish. on a sixty volt machine. I should have said that. This is a sixty volt, twenty amp with the battery. But on a far, with a fast charger, usually you can get up to six and a half, seven amps. Fast so charger. Fast-ish charger. So a fast-ish charger, you're probably going to look at a full charge in about seven hours, something like that. Okay. Eight hours possibly. Which is kind of. Yeah, that's, that's mean, good. But also you. Can can buy additional batteries. Nice. And you can charge it. You don't have to plug it into this. You can take the battery out if you unplug yep. it and then take it wherever you want to. The office, your home, someone else's home, preferably with their permission. Yes. We'd recommend that. We'd recommend that. Yeah. So a nice And it looks feature. really simple as well. So it's literally oh, just it's one super connector. Simple. One connector, pop that out, Bosh. and the deck is well set. Now, go. there isn't a deck seal when you take the deck off. When you take the battery case off, that doesn't actually have a seal under it. So water can potentially get in there. Now that is something that we were going to talk about, IP rating. Now the scooter or quota itself has an overall IP rating of 54, four being the water part of that, which isn't much. Yeah. That's water resistant. But what they tell us is the battery has a IPX8 rating or 68 rating. Standalone. Standalone. So the battery is completely sealed, basically, that means. So okay. you're, you're gonna have no problems with that whatsoever. So it's only the connectors really that you're worrying about? It's not even the connector, no, because that will cover the connector as well. That should cover the connector as well, that battery rating. Okay. Because they come out. So so potentially there might be some other electrics on it yeah. potentially that might be a bit lower than that okay. but we're going to confirm with Mia themselves but having a battery of rating like that gives you real peace of mind it's when you're riding in damp conditions especially in the UK <sighs> anyway <laughs> this is a foldable stem believe it or not did you believe it I, well, I'll believe it when I see it. So, open the latch, fold it down. Well, I'm a believer. 1,204 millimeters long and 1,190 millimeters high when the stem is up, but the stem is also adjustable, so that can go up and down. When it's folded, the height is 450 millimeters from the ground, so it's gonna fit in a bit. If you put the seats down in the back of your car, yeah. this is gonna be able to go in there, isn't yeah. it? Most family 
saloons. Yeah, Toby, you get that end. I'm gonna get this end and we're going to give it a little lift. Oh, that's all right. It's like a massive radio controlled car is what yeah, it looks like now. It's not that heavy. An RC, but it's 42 kilos without the battery, 47 with the battery approximately, the 20 amp, but with the 35, it will be a little bit more. Yeah, yeah it's, I wouldn't want to lift it on my own if I'm no. being, I'm not sure you could. Could you? You could try. Did you? Could you? Would you? Should you? Can you see this up here? Probably not. Oh, get her down. Let me get it down. Careful. Okay. Careful. This is an Evolve skateboard. Carbon GT, very popular. It has similarities to that, but just much bigger. Like you said, jacked up on yes. steroids. Yeah, I mean, it's got that same sort of look with the grip table, black. You can buy off-road tires in this as well. It's like a massive skateboard that clearly we're going to have some bars. serious fun on, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think if more than anything, it looks like a load of fun. Let's lift this back up, please, Toby. Okay. Lock that back in. I mean, that is super simple, isn't it? it? Is. Well, it, it sort of did it all itself, really. I've just got to put this little latch over. So above the tires, we've got these mud guards, angular design. They look really cool. They fit in with the aesthetic of the Kuta. Mm -hmm. Everything's angular. You see here, geometric. These are geometric. It's got that very modern feel about it, hasn't it? Even here on the sort of front casing that yep. they put on the front of the handlebars here. Looks like aer aerodynamic. Just giving it a bit more of a sleek feel, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's fighter pilot B-52 bomber kind of. Behind it, it's just got your sort of normal looking stem. Just but, a shaft. But, but yeah, that does make it look more aggressive, doesn't it? Does, it does, doesn't it? They've, yeah. they've thought about it. Let's just take a look here at the handlebars. So as we said, yes, you can raise or lower the handlebars very slightly. That's good, because you don't get that often. It is good. But, but. I sense the but. Personally, yeah. if you're riding fast and aggressively, I no. don't like anything that, that doesn't need to move, yeah. I don't want it to be able to move. Anything that doesn't need to move, I don't think it should move because you just want to be locked in. We haven't tested it yet and I'm sure it's a very, very safe feature. Uh, it's definitely a useful feature, isn't it? Because people come in all shapes and sizes, We totally. do. The rich tapestry of life. Next, we are going to go on to the handlebars mm -hmm. and the functionality of the Kuta. Okay. Or the Mia 4. Okay, so we're going to power on. You turn on the power button, just with the little display bit there, comes up with Mia Dynamics on the front and a very clear LCD or yeah. LED, LCD, LCD, LCD screen. It's a very clear display, whatever it is, if it's liquid crystal. It's a very clear display. Yes. Ergonomically designed grips and yeah. these Zoom brakes. Now, Zoom have been making brakes for a long time, hydraulic brakes. They're pretty good standard, aren't they? We have got, there yeah. are better ones, there are a lot worse ones. What Mia have said is that they've had these designed specifically for this vehicle. Now, one of the reasons is that one front brake is gonna have to stop two wheels, whereas on scooters, obviously, it's only stopping the one front. So there, you've got a much beefier chamber, uh, Chamber? Probably is, isn't it? it Master is cylinder. Chamber. Cylinder, yeah. Much beefier cylinder, running all the way down there and then splits off and you've got the two disc brakes at the front. Obviously yep. the same with the back there. Now we'll test them out properly because it's very important to be able to stop, especially on a beast of this size. Why is that light going? Because you're in reverse. Up. It's very important to be able to stop. And also look, Tobes, what do you see? I see an integrated brake light. Integrated brake light, super duper feature. Let's, whoop, just, whoop. let's just test out a little something here. Yeah, and the brakes cut the motor as usual. That's okay, always so that's good. good. So let's see how those brakes work. Out. out let's go. Out there. And see how it stops. Yeah. Off we go. There's quite a lot of power here. Like even if you just look, it will lift the front up. Do you see that? Go. Manny. Oops. Oh, I'm so scared. Trouble is with these, when you touch the brake, it shuts the motor off, which is a great safety feature. But obviously when you're doing wheelies, you need to feather that. That brake, it doesn't quite work so well. <laughs> Sketch out! Oh, it's so much fun. Look at how it handles the terrain. Sketchy! Oh, sketchy ruts! Sketchy! Woo! <laughs> As I keep saying, the brakes are so good! <laughs> Well, that was impressive. Well, that was impressive. Whatever just happened was good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, carry on. So one really cool feature is a kill switch here. So if I am pushing the scooter there, I'm just pushing the throttle, it's trying to accelerate away. Push that down. Even though I'm in gear one, throttle's not working. That's a really cool feature, isn't yes. it? Yes. So click that off, then we're gonna work in. Now, this is a fun feature. Yeah. Just watch this. Oh! oh. Reverse. 
reverse gear. That's cool. What scooter have you ever been on that has a reverse gear? Because it's yeah. got four wheels. That's annoying. Reverse So as you're person. trying to walk, it's like hitting into your legs. Oh, uh, okay. Because it's so big. Because with a scooter, normally the wheels are in line, aren't they? But here, yeah, obviously, yeah, they're yeah. where your leg is. So make sure you're up and on it before you're moving. Remember that. Okay. So yeah, just show you again. Stand on. Reversey Percy. That's really cool, isn't it? So you don't find that on many vehicles that we've um, reviewed. It's certainly not any I vehicles. I don't think reviewed. we've ever seen a scooter with a reverse gear. We've got three modes, one, two, and three. They basically just restrict the speed and the power that you're going to be going. Okay. So that's simple enough. On the um, dash, you've got your speed, you've got your battery life, you've got your average speed, you've got your fastest ever speed, all that kind of stuff, like the usual things. You've got the time if you want it, you've got your odometer, etc. Yes. But but really what this scooter is all about or what this scooter is all about and what Mir have made it for is to have fun isn't it now I'm sure there are loads of other functions on here but it also has app connectivity okay we don't know a lot about that yet we haven't got the information but they do say obviously you're gonna be able to track your rise but also security aspects so you will be able to shut down the vehicle from your app as well and possibly track it but we're waiting to hear okay. on that info but really what this is all about is a fun machine, isn't it? Let's be honest. Yeah. So let's go. Have some fun. Have some fun! Hey. Oh no. <laughs> it's like Titanic. I, I am actually trying to go. Oh, okay. What happened? Did I punch the kill switch? You did. Oh, oh I can, oh. Time to go. Bye-bye. <laughs> So out in the fields, I got up to 28 miles an hour, but now I'm gonna go downhill, down this 20 degree gradient hill, and see if I can improve on that. So you might lose me, because the one we're probably not gonna be able to go that fast, but, and it's a bit bumpy, but I wanna see what we got. I'm braking at the moment, because I'm hitting some big potholes, but then I'm gonna let it ride out. No, I'm not, there's people down here, so I'm gonna slow right down. I had to slow down for the good of the public, and now we're going to speed up again. Thank you. Here we go. I got 28 mile an hour again uphill. Maybe it's restricted to 28. Did you not just see that skid? I saw it. I didn't record it though. I nearly died several times on the way down. Well, anything for the gram. Right, I'm going to come back and see if you can get my badass skid to end okay. things off. <laughs> there you go. It is so much fun. Just, just stay there, stay there. We used to go up this on scooters, but we haven't been able to for a long time because they don't handle it well, especially in the summer. Just watch this, <laughs> so rough. But look, I'm barely feathering the throttle here. And this is just eating terrain. Look how steep this is, you won't be able to know. It's about two and a half feet. Watch this, we're gonna drop. Look at that, rolls off the edge. See if we can get up. <laughs> Gets up as well. This thing is unbelievable. It's not compact like a scooter, but it's rugged. Like a quad bike, but standing up. Oh my gosh, I don't want to get off it. I'm not sure where its practical use in life is, but I don't want to get off it. It can't be a mobility scooter. It can't. Pretty mobile. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it on the side profile. I'm knackered. That is so much fun. I, let's go through the pros. My sweaty head. It's very hot, so sorry about that. The pros are the wheels. So much grip. So much grip on those big 15 inch tires. Four tyres, obviously, makes it so much more stable. What's beeping over there? The motors, 2,000 watts, it's fast enough for most things. I felt like it needed a little more power, just a bit, and it would have been able to pull me up some of the really, really difficult inclines. But for average users, it's gonna be perfect. It's so much fun. The suspension's great. The way that it leans, it makes you feel like you're surfing or snowboarding. You can kick right into the turns. You don't even have to be going on a slope. You can just do it on the straight, just like carving. It's a really, really, I'm trying to think of the right word. You know when you play a computer game, it's easy to use. What's it called? Intuitive. Intuitive, it's really intuitive. Very, very intuitive. Very responsive throttle, the brakes were fun, the way that you can just slide the back out like that. The front brakes are great as well. If you wanna have a look just quickly here, 
you can really kick up the front, you know. Just take, just take a look all the way around again. As I said, I don't know where you're gonna use this, but I don't think I've ridden many more fun machines than this. Even the scooter, the scooters are great because they're nimble and they're fast and they're in their own bracket. This is like a quad, like we said, it's like a quad bike, but standing up that you can lean and bend. <laughs> It's just, it's in a bracket of its own, really. I think they're gonna be great for people that you that go off-road a lot, farmers, things like that. You see that we're out in the vineyards there, going between the vines. If you need to get out there, check on your crops, animals, whatever it is, these are gonna be fantastic. We haven't done a proper water test because it's so dry for once in the UK, but what a brilliant machine, the MIA 4, M-I-A 4. I suggest trying one out if you get the chance, just, for, just to have fun. Just go and try one out. If you liked it and you like what you saw, give us a call, send us a text, send us an email. We might be able to get you a demo on one of these. www.ridingglide.co.uk. For any other reviews, go onto our YouTube channel. We've done tons of reviews on not things like this, but scooters, bikes, skateboards, all sorts of electric stuff. Please like and subscribe. Press the bell down below. It really helps us to make content. Leave comments if you've got any questions or if you've got anything you didn't like. Um, and that about wraps things up on the Mia 4. I am gonna go and ride this some more until the battery's completely gone. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time.